What is up my darlings? My name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make DIY face masks. But before we get into that, I just want to ask, how are you doing? Because this is kind of a crazy situation and it's been going on for a long time. And honestly, like I'm doing okay. It's a little stressful that we can't go anywhere, but actually the governor of Michigan just announced a couple days ago that if you go out in public, like to Meyer or inside of a gas station or anywhere, you have to be wearing a face mask. Well, I kind of figured out that I don't have any masks and I don't want to buy any like medical face masks because I really do believe that those should be left to the medical professionals because they really, really need it and there is a huge shortage right now. So I'm not telling you what to do or anything, but please try to leave those for the medical professionals. This leaves us to make our own, which is really fun. I will be making a non-sew version and a sewing version. The non-sewing one will be great for all of you folks who do not know how to sew or if you're scared to sew or you don't have sewing utensils. And then the sewing version is a way to kind of like spice it up a little bit and also I think it's a little bit tighter than the other one. I personally like the sewing one better, but that's why we have both options. So here we go. How to make a DIY face mask. Two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you. First step is you want to find an old crusty t-shirt that maybe was in the back of your closet you didn't even know you owned. Once you've found the perfect crusty t-shirt, you just want to cut off the very bottom trim. Voila! Now you're going to grab your trusty ruler and you are going to measure one inch from the bottom and you're just going to cut all the way across. Now you are going to take that strip you just cut and you are going to cut both ends off to make two equal strips. These are going to be the straps for your mask. Perfecto. You're gonna get back that t-shirt again and your ruler and you're gonna measure eight inches for the height. Now you can just cut all the way across. Gorgeous. So we are just gonna do the same process as we did with the strips. We're just gonna cut down the sides to make two equal squares. We'll only need one square for this. We are on the construction portion now, so you're just gonna lay out that square piece of fabric, and then you're gonna lay the two strips on top of that. And now you're just gonna fold the two pieces in the middle, and then you're gonna take the two end strips and you're just gonna tie them together. I would definitely do a double knot just to make sure it stays secure. But remember, only do one side and you'll see why in a minute. So here's the tricky part, you're going to want to lay the mask on your face and I would hold the end two strips that aren't tied in your pinky and you're just going to pull that strip over your head as I'm trying to do and then you're going to take the two that are loose and you're going to tighten them up. I know it looks so bad right now but I promise it's going to look good when it's done and you're just going to tie that in the back of your head. Now just fold the fabric that looks ugly under the mask so no one can see it and it'll look super cute. Alrighty, we are moving on to the sewing mask. So you're just going to find another graphic t-shirt and you're going to flip it inside out. Next, we are going to get a ruler out and we are going to measure. So you're going to want the length to be nine and a half inches and the width to be six and a half. I unfortunately made this mask the kid's size, which is, I believe, two inches shorter than what I put up than what I said. So do what the screen says. Do not mind how this mask is gonna look in the end because it's gonna look very wonky and not fit my face. Great job, Ashley. The dots are aligned. This step is gonna be a little bit tricky if you don't have one of these rolly thingies. 
I don't even know what this is called. My mom let me use it. It kind of sucks. I don't know if it needs to be sharpened, but you're just going to want to cut out your lines you did. I mean, if you have scissors, good luck. <laughs> be looking cute now it's time for your mad sewing skills you're just gonna want to sew both bottom and top lengths I guess you would call it just over under over under like how your mama how your grandma how your uncle Joe taught you just over under over under Now we're going to take the end of our mask and we are going to bring it into about an inch. These are going to be the pockets for our string or whatever you're going to put in to hold it on your face. And you're just going to sew all along the edge of that. I made the strips just how I did in the other mask. Just cut an inch off the bottom of the t-shirt and you're just gonna literally pull it through the little cave you made for it and you're just gonna tie the ends just how you did with the other one and remember do not tie the bottom one yet now to the fun part, you're just going to slip the mask over your head. Please try not to rip your eyelashes out like how I did. And you're just going to tie the strings in the back of your head. Try not to tie your hair in either, how I did. And it's finished. Are you guys ready to see the finished product? about it i really really hope you guys enjoyed watching this um this is a really great way to recycle your old t-shirts that you're never gonna wear again hashtag save the planet save the environment if you guys have any questions or comments comment down below if you like this video give it a big thumbs up it would mean the whole world and also subscribe why am i holding this ruler i don't know but i hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day Love you to the moon and back. Goodbye.